Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial. And let's look more on a hexagon. So we'll go back and we'll start looking more on the primitives and some options and other selections we can use. So let's go right now to our 3D primitive tab. Okay. And we'll look before on a cube. So let's look on a cylinder at this point. So we'll click on cylinder. And here's will be different a little bit from cube because when we first time click, we can select the diameter. Okay, when you like the diameter you're selecting, left click again. On this point, we'll select how tall we want this cylinder. So we'll select and click one more time. And this point, you will have this wide highlight circles. This is will allow you if we press enter right now or validate, it will create for us just the pipe. So if you want to close the end, just go above this circle and click on them. And you will notice it's add covers. So, but this is not yet all the way done. So what I want to do right now is go to the sections and we can specify how many we have at points in diameter or how many sections. So let's say I want 24. And you do notice how many we add additional. It's add smoothness this way. And I want to have it only three sections. So I put four, it's for the lines. And right here we can see we have three sections, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. When you um, done, you can press enter or validate. And done, now we have it, our cylinder created. Next, let's create the gear from this cylinder. So a couple of things I want to do. It is take um, surfaces and to select surfaces, you can go right here, click on this, or you can press F1 for the first, F2, F3, F4, depend what you want to use it. So it's how you feel better to use a keyboard or mice. Let's give you both abilities. So let's select the surfaces. We'll go and we'll click on one. If you want to select all around, sometimes it may be very hard to go. And this is a good point to remember shortcuts. They do help a lot. So if you press just L, we'll select all surfaces in like a ribbon around. And now we can go to our screen right here and work on the selections. We'll go to ways one over. Now let's click two. Now you notice we have every other one, now every third and every fourth. So let's leave it on every fourth selected. Okay. And remember, we set our shortcut for our sweep so as shift S. So even if we on the screen, it's why nice to remember and set your shortcut. Or what we need to do is shift S. And there you go. Now we have it our shift. So let's a little bit go forward. Now we right click and make a little bit smaller and just double time click. So here's we kind of have it one of our gear. So let's add more right here. So we'll select one top, one on another one. Press L. So we'll select our ribbons. We'll go again here and let's select everything. The one problem is only, I won't put them here, but they're on the same line. So in this point, we'll start using offset. So we'll just double time click and let's move them align here. Press again, shift S. Okay, we'll just extract a little bit. Right click, adjusting our gear, double time click. And there you go. We have our kind of like gear. Actually, it's can be chapter or something. So let's go move our mouse over. When it's highlight, just click on this and click shift button as well. And you notice you have this kind of blue icon. So it will be lock steps. So we'll turn around. Okay, you know what I want to do? I want to create maybe a few more of them just going around. And to do this, you can just press Control D. And Control D, what it does, it's duplicated for us. It's cloned. So Control D and Control D one more time. So there you go. We just created three of them. One thing you need to understand with a cloning and copy, what it does with cloning, it's almost will do whatever you do to one copy, it will apply to all other ones. So example, let's go right here. We'll select this surface. Okay. And watch now. I will start drag here. 
you notice on two other models that clone it's happening same things so let's control z undo this okay and here is our cloning tag so we'll just for example click on this one to remove it from cloning and let's do again on the one right here start moving and you notice it's apply only to that that still clone so this is actually sometimes can be confusing when you adjust and you want to modify one but it's happened to other one be sure if you set cloning if you want to have them clone they enable or if you don't want them clone just unchecked okay also other things what i noticed sometimes you would just look around without selecting so just press escape one more time it will unselect everything and here you have it kind of set of the gears okay next things what i want to show you it is um some little bit of boring operation so let's do again let's turn around and you know what i want to have a hole in the middle of this one going so let's click our cylinder okay we'll go right on the side one click adjust how tall I want it and I actually want close for this one also I want 24 press enter and press enter one more time to validate so here we have our cylinder now you notice um, we'll go right to the turn click and also push down shift button so we can lock and we'll lock and rotate to horizontal so let's put between those lines what's happening also sometimes it's hard to kind of put on the middle and here's where the numbers come used to so if you click on this cylinder you will notice the positioning 5822784 so we go to our shape sometimes hard to select there okay we have it uh, okay so let's control C this one, copy, and 7847. Seven. Eight, we'll just paste this one. So I, right now we just center this one against the. So by using the numbers, it does help to align it. So if you never trust your eye, and when you have precisions, they work with numbers, it does kind of give it a precise location. Okay, so right now we have it on the middle. Well, I want to actually make hole in the middle there. Okay, to do this, let's, uh, one thing, if we just have a boolean operation, so if we select, for example, middle one, and we'll go to surface modeling and we'll select boolean operation we'll click it will remove just from one so it won't remove from other ones let's escape whatever we need to do in this case we'll just select all those ones press ctrl g to group them together okay and right now we actually can select the our middle ones select the boolean operation and click on a group on this point we'll remove this one from all group and you notice we still have kind of plus and minus kind of waiting for us to validate this or prefer other operation if you want to add additional objects let's press just enter there go. we have it creating new form within middle okay again if you for some reason you don't like it or you find some other errors remember control z will undo your step by step back so you always can come back to what you've done adjust if you did something you don't like it and just repeat again same operation also one thing i was using the um, boolean operation by default so what i want to say if we click again here you will notice you will have a different type we have cut by default but you have many different options and we'll look on them in the future so right now we was just using the cut okay well, let's go this one let's go select one more time then again i want you to see how we can group them Control g to group so as a group it's like one single object right now for us so when we make modifications 
you notice it's treating them like a one single object. Okay, so we'll do it this way. And we can do also Boolean operation. And sometimes you maybe want to cut but do other things. So remember, if you press Ctrl D, you can duplicate it, that shape. So there you go. We just duplicated this one. Select this, Boolean operation, remove it. Press Enter to validate. So we have it our. And let's, you know what? Let's adjust Put this one on the middle. And use it to go on its center and just leave it click and make it smaller. So I can kind of around. There you go. So here we created our um, gear kind of things. You know, it's remind me maybe something from Futurama when Bender was running away from those on the moon from the choppers. So you can create some very mean looking machine with that. Okay, so I'm right now was looking a little bit on creation, more on the tools, and a little bit on Berlin operation. So you can save this one and we'll come back in the next tutorial and continue to explore more of the options. So we'll look a little bit more on different display options in a hexagon. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please come visit us on the web. It's www.geekatplay.com.